What is up guys? We got a second place deck profile here at the 3v3 at Collectibles Exchange uh, with the man you guys have seen before in my channel. Uh, his name is Carlos and he took it with what deck? Uh, Light Sworn. Alright, so Light Sworn uh, still kicking uh, pretty high. Do you think uh, Light Sworn is just a tier 1 deck? Is that why you keep playing it? Uh, I don't know about tier 1. I don't know if it's up there with the top 3 decks, but it's definitely close to it. Uh, the Blacky matchup feels incredibly easy. Yeah. Uh, just side decking especially. Uh, and then the Bayou and Frog matchup is fine too. I don't think it has any matchup. Yeah. Uh, but I still like Bayou. Uh, I think the Frog matchup is terrible. Yeah. The matchup's hard for you with Bayou? With Bayou, yeah, I think it's hard. Uh, you've uh, cut yourself from playing Diva Hero, uh, Diva Zombies. Uh, do you think that you would ever go back to playing uh, Diva Zombies again? Uh, at a bigger tournament like this, probably not. I see. Um, I mean, it's good. Uh, I just, yeah, I think. Yeah. Better better. Okay. Better uh, what was your personal record throughout the day? Uh, three one in Swiss. Um, one top four and we didn't finish uh, yeah. the finals, but my hand was good. Yeah. Uh, so that's a W. <laughs> okay, let's go into the deck Um So it's really close to the, the ARB bed Maryland yeah. list. It seems like four or five cards. Okay, that's a lot. Uh, I mean, it's mostly all similar. Um, double JD, standard. Uh, triple Celestia. Triple. Yeah, uh, you just want to resolve it as much as possible. Yeah. Yeah. Best card besides like JD. Yeah. Uh, triple Wolf. Uh, I don't believe in playing two. You can try it either way, so I might as well play three. Yeah, you're playing player, so this is more acceptable. Yeah. yeah. Uh, triple Raiko. Uh, I think this card is credible. Uh, I like one or two, honestly, because every game two. Going second, I always side out at least always two. Yeah. And then against Frogs, I just side them all. Uh, going first or second. Okay. Uh, so I, don't, I think this card is credible. Double Jane. Uh, what would you cut it for? The Rikos. Um, I don't know. I top okay. of my head, I can't think. Let's find out. Uh, double Jane. Uh, I think one is okay. I think two is fine too. Um, but it's beater. Beats over black and so, yeah. so I think two is fine. Uh, double Lila, I think two is fine. Uh, you could play three. I can see myself cutting this for the third one. Interesting. Okay. Uh, it's fine too. And the one of the uh, Arceus, Eren, Illumina, and uh, Gyas, I think these are all good. I think this card's insane. It could get insane sometimes. Absolutely. Uh, attacking Rikos and against Frogs. So I turned to the one. Car Troopers and they're going uh, to uh, play. Yeah, like okay. Pretty standard list so far. Monsters. Okay. Uh, Bells, solar recharge. So I did double reincarnation and uh, one average. Uh, and also, people play triple average. Uh, there was times where I did want more of these. Uh, so maybe that's something to play around with. But uh, I like this because it gets specifically into what you want. Uh, whether it's a JD, uh, uh, Honest, it could be, you get a lot of stuff with this. Uh, so I think it's good too. Uh, charge, fine. Foolish, full wave, uh, heavy. Uh, and then one go side. Okay, why, why only one? You never want to open two. You essentially open with like three, four cards in hand. Oh, I see. Uh, so I, the one's fine. I saw it enough actually. Uh, but yeah, I think one's fine. I think it's also cuttable. Uh, I think the one's fine. You would cut the Ghost Arc? I don't know if I would cut it, but I think it is cuttable if you find a better card. Yeah, I see. If you don't want to play it. Maybe you can cut a Ryko for a second, but not so yeah. <laughs> But it's cuttable anyways. Yeah. Okay. Uh, Let's check out your traps. traps. Uh, double tier or mirror board. Alright, uh, cool. Yeah, these are all fine. Let's go into your extra or side? Uh, the extra. Uh, I do play a Cyber Dragon. See this, you know, I can't even make it. Uh, I was playing Twilight before this, and I just too lazy to swap it out, so I can't even make it unless I like take something with Goyo. Yeah. But, uh, you have a lot of room in this in the extra deck. Yeah, you're never going. Yeah, you're not gonna go to a lot of these. This one though. I summon. I did summon this one once. I Cold Blade. It's a fairy player. Yeah. Two back row and the monster. Okay. And then Cold, cold Wave and then this. That's why I call the traps, and I can't reset it. Yep. So that that was good. Uh, start up, I did summon this against the uh, frog, uh, black rose, tempest, Goyo, dash sword, army arm, Rio, and uh, Did you go into tempest magician all? Uh, no, no. The only cards I went to are 
Beasts at one play. Uh, against Frogs. I summoned this like twice. And I can't see playing this. I summoned this. Uh, what? Three records. That's why you played this. Yeah. Uh, I did summon it once. Uh, I was still going to win that game anyways, but it just helped me win faster. Yeah. Uh, I summoned it and equipped it to. I forgot what it was, but one of them. Yeah, a smaller one. A bigger monster. Yeah. Okay, let's go into the uh, side deck. Side deck. One Savage Lion. One Breaker. One Breaker. Why Breaker? Uh, Lila. Plays around uh, Lion Breaker. Oh, uh, I see. But it's essentially the same thing as Lila. Uh, kills oppression and stuff like that. Got it, got it. Uh, simple concentrated light. I think this is what makes uh, Blackwing just so easy. Um, so yeah. Uh, one crow. I wasn't playing this, uh, but I felt like I needed it for that. Uh, that frog deck, that new frog deck. Dream frog. At the fish frog boss. Yeah, that yeah, or it, yeah. Um, and I did draw it against that. Uh, and average too. It turns and average, average. And average. That's some, yeah, that's even more important than average. So I feel like I needed this. Okay. So uh, that's good. Uh, and then one kaiku is good against frogs too. Good against Bayou. Light orange. Uh, one MST. Uh, one book. Uh, I think this card's also cuttable, but uh, a lot of times you have this with like a consecrated light against black wings, and you just feel like really safe with it. Whatever out they do have for it, for it, uh, you're just able to stop it, even under uh, Royal DP. Okay. Um, so I think this is good uh, against black wings. Royal DP and there's uh, the wire walls for. Uh, Hero frogs and uh, bite, yeah. And then double restrict for the frogs. I did have this against the uh, frog. Wrong one, I think I'm against top four. Uh, wrong one, and the other game. Was enough. Okay. Yeah. That is. This is the high rarity uh, master trick that uh, Mr. Zabron. <laughs> so these are better. And those are better. Okay. Well, thank you uh, so much for the deck, Paul. And uh, hopefully, you see you more in the future uh, representing Lightsworn. Yep, that's right. All right, peace out. All right.